welcome to Whatever Isle, the home of Derweb Harps. Today I'm going to show you how to tune your Discovery 16 harp. This is a Discovery 16 harp for Trevon End School in Paris, and we're just about to take them over and deliver them. So, very quick run through the things you need for tuning. First off, you will need your tuning key. When you open your box, it could well be in the back of your harp. Yeah, so have a look in there if you think you haven't got a tuning key, otherwise rummage through the packaging. It will be in there somewhere. It's a small L-shaped device. The next thing you will need is a digital tuning app downloaded on your smartphone. So personally, I'm using the very simple Piano Tuner, Pano Tuner. Yeah, very simple app, Pano Tuner. So, tuning your harp. The bottom C on your Discovery 16 harp is middle C on the piano, or fourth octave C. The best place to start tuning your Discovery 16 is with fourth octave C. So, with your tuning key, you're going to place it squarely on the zither pin, which on the Discovery 16 harp is on the left hand side of your harp and it's the highest pin. Then you're going to pluck your string and then you're just going to ever so slightly turn the key. It's best to tune in what they call fifths. So the next string you're going to tune is G. One, two, three, four, five. C, D, E, F, G. Key squarely on, pluck the string. My G's a little bit sharp, so you can pull your string. It's gone flat. The best thing to do is pluck the string quite hard and then turn the key. So you can hear, as well as see using your tuning app, that you have arrived on pitch. Five up from G, one, two, three, four, five, is D. Key squarely on the pin, pluck the D. It's gone a little bit sharp, so you can give your string a good pull. Goes flat. Keep plucking all the time that you're turning the key very small amount. And then you can hear, as well as C, that it's arrived on pitch. So if you look at my app, I pluck the D string and it tells me that I'm on D. It's very clever. So five up from D. D, E, F, G, A. Key squarely on. It's gone a little bit sharp. Give it a little pull. Gone flat. Keep plucking and turning, and you'll hear it arrive on pitch. And then you can fill in all the strings one by one. So we're going back to middle C, then D, key squarely on, then E, then F, then G, then A, Sharp, so we give it a pull. And then C. D. E, a little bit flat, so we keep plucking. And we pull the key towards us. It's gone a little bit sharp, so we give the string a pull to flatten it. Then F. already done, B, C, it's gone a bit sharp so we then go back, keep plucking and listening, and then D, and 
Now, a new harp will need a lot of tuning. If you would like to speed up the process, you can then go back through the harp again. Give each string a good pull, so you're taking the stretch out of the string and flattening it. Good pull. It's now gone flat again. Key squarely back on. And back to C. Then we go up to our G again, and so on. So, in order for the harp to stabilise, you need to tune regularly, and I mean a couple of times a day, for the first couple of weeks. Once this process of stretching the strings, taking the stretch out of the nylon strings is completed, it should settle quite quickly. So, I hope you enjoy your new Discovery 16 harps. Do tune well. It takes about a year for the harp to find its true voice, and you do need to play it. So you must keep playing a new harp so that the soundboard lifts and vibrates because that's what creates the sound on a harp. So if you leave your harp for six months and you don't play it, it will revert to being basically a new harp. The soundboard will drop and you'll have to go through the tuning process again and that applies to any harp. So good luck, enjoy your tuning, download a free tuning app, hunt in your boxes for your tuning key, and all that remains for me to say is good luck and I look forward to seeing you at some more of my videos.